So this video goes over modifying a style. So let's say I'm not happy with my number only style and I want to change it. So I like going to the settings tab and finding the point that I want to change or the style that I want to change. In this case, I want to change the point label style. So I like going down there and finding the one I want to change. In this case, I can change description only. Actually point number only. So I could right click and choose edit. This will open up the label style composer and it has tabs on the top. So the first tab gives it a name, so I could change the name here if I wanted to and just type something in there. On the general tab, this controls the text style. So I'm using an arc text dash zero. It's not showing up because I don't have it set correctly in my support files, uh, but if it was, it would show something different than Arial. Here's my visibility. So for some reason you can set it to false, not have it show up. Here you have the object reference. So you can do object view or world coordinate system. And this just controls how it's going to be viewed in a particular orientation. So object is always relative to the object. View is relative to the rotated view port. And then if you always want it to be world, you can set it there. For points, it's usually object. I have no idea what force insertion is. Maybe I should look that up. But there's help there, so if you want to know what it is, you can look there. Um, down here is plan readability. You can do it true or false. Uh, setting it to false just means it's always going to be looking like this. If I set it to true, the text will rotate. Um, and then it'll rotate based on this readability bias. So once it hits 110 degrees, it's going to flip over. And then you can also flip the anchors with the text. So each component of the label, in this case I just have one, has a anchor with it and it'll flip it so top center becomes bottom center. On the layout tab, I have a list of the components. So in this case I just have one called point number. I could always add in additional components, either text, lines, or blocks, and I'm just going to add text. Here you can give it a fancy name. So I'm going to call this description. And then I can set the divisibility to true or false. I want it to be anchored to the point number. So this is telling it where to be. If it was feature, it's going to be labeled to the point. In this case, it's going to be labeled to the two. And this anchor point is the anchor point on two. And it's pretty much just like mText where you can change it. So I want it to be anchored to the bottom left. So I'll change it to bottom left. And so now I can see it's kind of anchored there. But it's also affected by the attachment point. So right now it's middle center. And really I want it to be top left to look correct. And that once again, that attachment is the same thing as the references for M text. If I want to change the contents, I can come in to the contents row, click on the ellipse, and then come in and change it. So I can use the drop down and choose a value. So I said description, so I'll do full description. Here I can change the properties of the values. So in this case, I can do uppercase, pervert, preserve case, and the like. The most important thing to do is make sure you hit the arrow button to update it. And so now I can see full description is there. Once I hit OK, I can then see I have my point number and the random. As I use labels, I notice that oftentimes I need to drag them. Sometimes I want the text to be stacked, in which case I'd use the stack text option. So that's simply going to take the number two and then the description and put it in a stack text. In this case, it's going to look the same. In the case of this line label, if I had stacked, it's going to take the azimuths and the distance and stack it. But sometimes I just want it to look like the label when I started, and I would do as composed. Up here I can change the style, so I can have it close filled, the head or the leader, the arrow high size also affects the leader size, and then I can set the visibility to true or false. So I don't have to see the leader, I can always turn it off. And once I'm done, I can hit OK. And now the style will be updated and include the description as well. Um, here I can see that as composed doesn't quite work for the left side. 
because it's going to the attachment point was on that left side. If I change it to S uh, to draft to stack text, it'll then look correct for this instance. But for this line label, it probably wouldn't look correct. And so that's how you can modify styles in Civil 3D.